Hey everybody, welcome back to Goody and Johnny Mill with the movies. We are coming back at you with episode 49, our second recording of the night, because we got a lot of reviews to bang out. Yep. So, before we get to our little uh, potluck draw of the night, we're going to do our little op- our little uh, beer opening here. What do you got? So, I have another beer from the Buzzards Bay Brewing Company. This is something I had not had previously um, uh, this year. Uh, it's called um, Hawes Piper. Hawes Piper Lager Beer. Butler Flats Black, deliciously dark without a hint of bitter, lagering time, 10 weeks. I don't know what that means, but it's uh, it's pretty it's dark. dark beer. It's not supposed to look like this, like Frosty. What happened was is I um, uh, got here today. And, <laughs> Someone and left it in the freezer I for a little bit. I put it in the freezer while we were taping episode 48, and when we finished episode 48, and thank God it was only about a half an hour episode because if we had done our normal you know, hour and change... This probably would have exploded in the freezer. Um, but instead, what I have now is like basically predominantly really cold, dark beer with a little bit of like almost like a, a frosty, like slurpy. slurpy consistency on the top. <laughs> uh, I just, uh, I still have some leftover Sam Adams Porch Rocker from the end of the summer. Uh, so I'm still drinking that, getting rid of these. Cheers. Cheers to episode 49. Thank you all again for joining us, and uh, we're sorry we we took so long to get some of these out, but yeah. you know we had just we had a lot of stuff going on. I think Sometimes we're going to I think we're going to be doing at least two a week until we catch up. Yes, I think. I think yeah. that's the goal. And, and uh, like I, we said in our last episode, is that there's a lot of films coming out between now and the end of the year, so we want to try to catch up as quickly as possible. <clears throat> uh, we are going to try to stick with a little bit of a, a quicker format too to hopefully. Make them a little bit shorter and sweeter if we can. Well, well the e- that's always the plan. The anyway. easiest formula for that is just to not re- review the movie until a number of weeks after you've seen it, because then you've forgotten <laughs> a lot of those juicy details. You know, at the end of the day, the, you remember the er, you remember the biggest things that stuck out. Yeah. That stuck out, but a lot of the other things that you, you they just might have dropped off. So right now we are going to go with uh, a little we, potluck action. Yep. We still have four. We have four of the five last. Four of the. F- Four so, of the last five movies that we saw, so the possi- we haven't reviewed. The possibilities right now could be Shang Chi, uh, James Bond, No Time to Die, Eternals, Eternals, and Halloween and Kills. Halloween Kills. And we're gonna do again, totally random. And now and this I, time, Johnny Mo gets to pick. Oh, what can it be? I'm picking. Oh, he's mixing them up again. Oh, I better drink. I don't trust you. I wasn't here when you put these out. I have no idea what order these are in. And the winner is Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. Okay. All right. All right. I'm very excited <clears throat> about that. <sighs> so, Halloween, Halloween. The Halloween, Kills. if you want to call it a reboot or continuation of uh, the 1978 film, came out in 2018. The Halloween Kills was originally supposed to come out in 2020. Oh, I'm sure. But was and it with they COVID, they decided to, to push everything back. Uh, and also, we are getting a third film, Halloween Ends, yeah. next October. Now, oddly enough, when the first Halloween movie came out a couple of years ago, 2018, 2018 yeah. I, I don't know that I was aware that it was already supposed to be, that was supposed to be the first movie of a Halloween trilogy. Right. I, was ex- I think I was going into that movie expecting it to be done. Like, this is the end. Um, and the way it ended, it certainly could have been the end. They um, could have just left it open-ended. The, well, I mean, yeah, well, at the end of the day, it, you you, Listen, you could have just they, interp- assumed that that Michael Myers was completely burned to death. He was in a basement that he locked. really couldn't get out of. He was basically and, in a prison. Yeah, and it was just going to burn, and he was just going to literally get cremated. And I think total cremation of Michael Myers, I think, would kill him. I think he. I don't. <laughs> you would. You would think. Like I don't think the ashes would come together and reform. You know, like, <laughs> like you know, like you know, you know. But, as, you know. Well, because they, they could have left it very open and very similar to what the twenty. I'm sorry, the 1978 film did. Right. If you didn't know there was a Halloween two coming out a couple of years later, that was very open ended. Well, because he yeah, gets away. He gets away, and and not for nothing that was um, the way the original Halloween ended. It easily could have been 
even in John Carpenter's mind, a one-shot movie, and that's the way it goes. Because a lot of horror films back then, back in the day, didn't end with a happy ending. They ended right. with like, um, you know, either a disturbing ending, where, you know, the bad guys win, yep. or like, you know, and and uh, what do you call um, an ending where it's open ended. Open ended, and, and that's and, exactly you know, what it was. And open ended in a bad way. Like, like, you know what, like, you know, there are so many movies like that from the 70s, you know, that was a common thing, you know, the, a lot of these, like, low-budget horror films really kind of pushed the envelope, you know, look at the, look at, you know, how, you know, Night of the Living Dead ended, yeah. you know, original Night of the Living Dead, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, you know, a lot of these movies, you know, bad you things know, happen. Yeah, they were like, you know, they were... They were pushing the envelope with these over-the-top horror films, and they pushed it all the way to the end. It wasn't thing, things weren't wrapped up nicely, nicely yeah. with a bow. There was, you know, it was really like an unhappy ending, you know. And and I think Halloween, <clears throat> the original Halloween, was really perfect on that point. And I think a lot of other movies, even after that, you know, like you know, the way the the way the first the that. way the first Friday the Thirteenth ended. Yeah. You know, with with the kid coming out of the water, like you know, mm -hmm. like it's you know, you know, it's like you it's, it's like a, it's like a shock ending, you yeah. know. And I think I think the original Halloween might have might have been one of the best examples of that. And in, in the 2018 one, you know, you see Jamie Lee Curtis, her daughter uh, Judy Greer, and then Judy Greer's daughter yeah. are going away in the truck, and you just see the big butcher knife just in the granddaughter's lap, bloodied, and the Halloween music. And plays. I thought, like, I even thought, like her eyes or her face, like went, like, 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 like. I thought they did a close up on her face too, where she like all of a sudden like froze up. And I don't know if they did that. I think they started with their faces, and I thought they panned down to the to the yeah. knife, and then they went back to the house burning. Yeah. And then you hear the breathing of Michael Myers, and then I think it, it cuts. So going into this movie, so, like, okay. So I remember like leaving that movie, and and Chris telling me said, "Oh no, this this is you know there's a trilogy," and I'm like. Really? So going into this movie, I knew that there was a third one coming out. There's yeah. a third there's a third one. So you, you know, yeah. it's almost a little it's almost a little anticlimactic because he's sitting there saying, like, you know, you know, you know the you know the third movie is going to be with Michael Myers. You know it's not gonna be a season of the witch scenario where there's no Michael Myers, you know. Right. You know, so you sit there and you say, you know, whatever happens whatever happens is gonna happen in this movie, but I don't think Michael Myers is gonna be dead at the end of this movie. Or even if he appears to be dead, he's coming back. Right. You know, you're not they're not gonna fool you because there's already It's already you know, planned. Like it's it's it was planned from the get go. Yeah, and I and I think and you see that right from the trailer. You know, the trailer opens up basically with you see the all the girls in the truck, and then the, the fire engines are starting to to rush out towards the house uh, to put it out. And then you see, you know, um, Jamie Lee Curtis is yelling, "No, no, no! Let him burn! Let him burn!" And uh, I mean, an incredible opening sequence that not only, again, by sheer luck, does the fireman get into the house. The floor falls through. One of the firemen goes through the and floor. And one of the firemen goes through the floor. Yeah. Meets up, of course, with Michael. Right. Who's hidden behind the who's weapon cache. Not really quite... Not burning. Not Well, I think he was... He, he was almost protected. He, yeah, he, he was He was a little burnt by the time he got out, but he wasn't like... He wasn't on fire. He wasn't like all, in, you know, all enveloped in flames. Which you would think a house on fire like that, he would have been yeah, getting through the house. Because not for nothing, the way the first, the way the first one ended, it really looked like that house was an inferno. Oh, yeah, at that point you know, in time. And then, you know, so I, I and I and basically, so Michael Myers walks out of the house and he's standing, you know, in front of a whole boatload of firemen. firemen. Not even cops. It's just it's just firemen yeah. at that point. But the firemen all have like axes. Yeah, the axes. I'm one sure of them. One of them. One of them's got like the giant like uh, uh, handsaw, almost like the jaws of life that like they're gonna cut like cut something out yep, of. I'm sure they have the, uh, the pokers right. I mean, that would use to pull ceilings yeah. down. You know, so like they've got all these like these hand weapons, and Michael just comes along and just. Takes take them take, all out, taking all one these guys out, one. you know, and and brutally too. Like he, yeah, you know. And but what was cool is so they they even show stuff 
from the the first film from the 2018 movie where they they see so the the two guys that were staking out the house that were kind of like watching over it michael myers kills them and then in michael myers fashion sets up a scene where the one guy is decapitated and he's got a flashlight through his head and it, it's coming out of his face okay yeah, yeah the yeah. light's coming out of his face these are the cops in the car these are the cops that were in the car like yeah, chat, yeah, yeah. chatting back and forth yeah because that's you know because michael myers isn't just a cold cold-blooded killer no, he, has he also has a sense scene. of humor he also <laughs> likes to set up little things you know which goes all the way back to the very first film, right the original. You know, exactly and he sets up these these morbid scenes which is it, really which is you know if there's a little if you really it. think about it it's really messed up oh it's very <laughs> it's very psychologically like uh discomforting knowing that like he almost takes pleasure in that yeah because yeah. why else would you do it yeah he's like the he's 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 an artist, right? You know? he, 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 you, I'm wondering if, like, if that's what he thinks of himself as to set something like that up. Yeah, but I, I'm just glad that there was continuity there. Um, I thought there. I have to say, like, there was definitely good continuity between this film and the last one. Yes, I and agree. Uh, one of the the great things that I like is that after that scene occurs and Michael gets away. We get thrown back to 1978. Oh yeah, they did a bunch of flashback scenes, what? and they did a, they did this big flashback scene. Of, and it's not just flashbacks of scenes that we've already seen. They were this was a they were newly filmed extensions extensions of of scenes. Like it's what? almost like the aftermath of what happened in 1970. So after Michael gets up and walks away from the house, what happened next? What because because yeah because. Um, even Halloween two, in whatever year that came out, didn't do that. You know, no. Michael gets away, and you see. Well, Michael tra Michael tracks his way to the hospital. Yeah, Halloween where, two opens with the last couple of minutes of Halloween. Yes. you actually get a reenactment get see it. of of the final the final couple of minutes. Mm -hmm. But even if when when Michael Myers is not there anymore, you there's a jump in time from that to the next scene. And what you're getting here in this movie is what happened. Well, no, what, in the, in what the, happened in the middle. In the original Halloween too, he does. He makes his way to a bunch of different houses, kills a few more people, and the cops are now out like patrolling, looking mm -hmm. for him. The cops end up killing like an innocent person that was dressed very similarly to oh, Michael yeah, Myers, yeah, yeah, yeah. where the car like impales the guy, mm -hmm. and then he just goes up on fire. And he basically burns alive. Yeah. But it was a teenager. It was a kid that was like 17 years old. Right, right, right. Um, the sheriff finds out that his daughter dies because how she was killed in the first film. Yeah. So, and then all of a sudden, eventually, Michael makes his way to the hospital. Right. But, um, you know, you, but th that film doesn't exist anymore. Right, in this, right, in this right. Universe, because right, in, the, you know, in this, in this, in this, canon, in this in this 2018 version. Yeah, this is really the third Halloween universe. Yeah. Because the first Halloween universe goes all the way up to Halloween H20. And then Halloween Re Resurrection, too, after that. Yeah, and then you have Halloween H20, which ignores a whole bunch of stuff. But then you have this that ignores everything. And nobody pays Except attention to the to the Rob Zombie films. How, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, no one oh, pays yeah. attention to those two. Those those were complete. Yeah. Well, reboots. those are those are complete reboots. Because mm -hmm. basically, the the Michael Myers. Those was almost like a reinterpretation. Yeah, they were. They were complete reinterpretations. They had no continuity to everything before and after no. it. You know, no. these act, these are all these other Halloween movies actually had a continuity from Hall from Halloween. Correct. You know? I I still find the the original Halloween. The flashback scenes that we get that kind of like fill in the gaps of almost like how did Michael Myers get caught? Yeah. Right? Because the first, the 2018 film opens up with Michael Myers at this institution that he's been at since he was caught in mm -hmm. 1978. Mm -hmm. So how the hell did that happen? Right? So for 40 years he was locked up. Yeah. How'd they get him? And th they kind of show that a little bit. There's multiple flashback scenes like Johnny Mo said and you find out that I think even right before they do the flashback, you find out that the um, the sheriff is alive. He didn't die. Yes. Right? Yes. So they find out that he's actually still alive, miraculously, because I got to tell you, that to me... From the 2018 from film. From the 2018 yeah. film, 
I, I, that was a shocking point of the film where the doctor takes Michael Myers' mask and puts it on. But before he does that, he stabs the sheriff in the throat. Yeah. With, I yeah. think it with a scalpel. A scalpel. I think. And that should have been a fatal. That should have, that that should have been him. a fatal. Wound. That should have been like, and like, you know, in the jugular, like, should have just killed him. Should have bled out and that would have been it. But um, that was a shocking point of the movie for me. I did not expect that. And the fact that he goes down, because I actually liked the sheriff a lot. And uh, what's his name? It's uh, the guy from, he's been in so many movies. He was in the football movie. With, he was uh, in Remember the Titans. Remember he, the Titans. Was in Arm- he was in Armageddon. I don't remember, I don't remember his name. Oh, that's going to kill me. I can't Will, Will something? William? Oh, don't sorry. Know. But but, so appa- anyway, but apparently his character is has history. in. Yeah, so his it's basically his perspective back in 1978. Is he was one of like the beat cops. He was, and he was, and he was, he like was young, pretty like young on the, the force. Like, one of like the first years on the force. Right. And, uh, you, and they basically track Michael Myers back to the Myers house. Yeah. And uh, and there's some history there where he basically he go he try it's like him and his partner. Him and his partner and he accidentally he has been he has he basically kills shoot, his, kills he kills his, his partner. partner. It, while trying to kill Michael Myers. Yes. And you know then then they get like Michael Myers outside of the house and that's how he's got, that's how he's finally caught. Yeah. But um yeah no that was um I I like that they did some of that older stuff that um you know, like filling in some gaps that you've yep. never seen before. And, but it, uh, it also took you back to something familiar. Mm-hmm. So, like the the scenery of the Myers house, the uh, the scenery the, of Haddonfield at that time. Yeah, at Haddonfield, you know, 1978. It's it felt yeah. like it felt like you were watching like the aftermath of the 1978 film. Yeah. Like I thought, I thought that was well done. I, I that was one of the more enjoyable points of this movie for me. And then what they did in this movie is they made a point of like basically bringing back everybody so anybody who many was still alive people that, that were involved in those movies so you had um you had uh the sheriff the sheriff the original sheriff you had from, the, you had the nurse who was driving the car that he escaped in the opening from, scene yeah which to me that one was a little bit of a stretch uh, i'm sorry I, not the opening scene from the uh, like from his, from his when, original escape. Yeah, when she was, was with nurse. Loomis. It was Loomis, yeah. Loomis and this nurse. Now, almost all these other people, like, lived in Haddonfield, whereas that right. nurse really didn't. So I don't know. It was, you know, it was kind of cool that she was there, but it, I don't know that it quite made sense that well, she because was basically, there. So but basically, everybody else made sense. There, there was this bar. There was this bar in Haddonfield, and basically, like, everyone's, like, gathered there, and it's almost like, not the victims, but like people that were associated with that night with Michael Myers, like yeah. all gathered there. Bunch of the kids, and you had Tommy, who wasn't really Tommy then. So this was um, that was played Michael, by Anthony Michael, Anthony Michael Hall. Hall. He yeah. did, he did not play the original Tommy. However, Kylie Richards played the original girl. Was it Lindsay? Lindsay, yes, right. Lindsay. Mm-hmm. She played the original Lindsay, and she is in this movie. I thought that was very cool. Yeah. To bring her back. Yep. Um, and like John said before, the sheriff is like a, he's almost like a security guard in the hospital that they bring Jamie Lee Curtis to. Um, so, and was there anybody else that they brought back? Well, they, they definitely, there was one of the, there was a, there was a kid there that was in one of the flashback scenes. Yes. As I said, there was other kids in the neighborhood yeah. that, that ran into Michael Myers and, and lived to tell the tale. That, that night, and he was one of the he was one he of the was guys one of the running around, yeah. and he was one of the kids that like he they like dared him to like go up to the Myers house, yeah, right, something yeah. like that, yeah. So there's all these, it's like you know, it's almost like a reunion, and yes. it's like you know, at the end of the day, it's like people that like sharing their trauma yeah. uh, of everything when and they all find out that that, that mm-hmm. Michael Myers is still alive right. in Haddonfield and in Haddonfield on the loose, they all go crazy. And of course, like an angry wild mob, yeah. they're, they're trying to run out to get him, but they're they're fragmented. They're all they're not, it's place. not organized. It's, it's not just, that organized. It's just everyone's like just their their passion uh, is is driving them. Their and their fear yeah. is is really driving them. Um, and at some point, they all kind of gather at the hospital, which I find very interesting because that's. There is definite echoes of Halloween two. Yeah, which took place. Yeah, which took place in a hospital. And they and it, how it's very similar to this because of course Jamie Lee Curtis, for the majority of this film, Jamie Lee Curtis is in a bed like she actually had surgery, which is where she should be, right? Because she got cut up because like she, she, yeah she, she got some serious 
She had a lot of wounds yeah. from the first, in the first, at the end of the first film. So to me, that made perfect sense that she was basically in a hospital bed. And of course, she's next to, they bring the sheriff in, and right. the two of them are next to each other, and mending wounds. And, 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 I, and I love the point where, like, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis is like, I, you know, I got to go. And it's yeah, like, yeah. She and tries, it's like, <laughs> there's no it's way. It's like, you just got out of surgery. You're going to yeah. tear all your stitches. And, you know. And sure like, enough. Sure enough, like, yeah, like, you know what? Because, you know, that's how the real world works. You yeah. know, when you get out of surgery, you ain't going anywhere. But you know what, though? I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they didn't make it to the fact that, like, she was going to get up and just tough it out and just have, like, a little bit of bleeding. Like, no, like, she ripped her freaking stitches. Yeah. Like, we all knew that she would have in could, reality. And should have, yeah. And she had to get back in bed. There was no way she could handle it. So I, I am happy that they did that. And, and, and what you basically had during this film was basically Michael Myers kicking ass and killing whoever he wants to kill. Well, I feel bad. I feel bad for that, couple, that old couple. away with it. So the first thing he does, like he goes to this, yeah. he goes to this one house, and this is this old couple, uh, and like the, he just he just breaks in. I think he's in their bathroom <clears throat> at one point, mm-hmm. and like the the other guys, they hear something. The this this older couple, and they're like looking throughout the house, and the husband goes to check something out, and at one point he goes and turns the lights on and sees Michael, and Michael shatters the light and then he goes oh crap and like, he, he's running right. out of there and the wife's running away and you almost think like it's a little bit of comedy they're gonna get away and no they nope, die they horribly die. like the one thing i will say is that the the death scenes in this movie were violent yeah like and almost unnecessarily because the, the this older couple the guy gets stabbed multiple times with multiple knives yeah. in the kitchen. Yeah. He's literally bent over the butcher block mm-hmm. and Michael Myers is just taken, he, he stabs him a couple times with one knife, then leaves it in there, goes and grabs another knife and stabs him again. And the wife just watches and screams because she can't run anywhere. She's yeah. knocked down. Yep. And I'm like, that's a little unnecessary. Like Michael doesn't know these people. He's yeah. just looking well, to... Well, it was really, it was kind of funny because it was like, you know, he, like, if if you were in Michael Myers' corner, if he was the guy you're rooting for, this is your favorite movie of all time. Because he's just... Yeah, he's, he's being... Just, he's just wading through the town. He's being the supernatural... And he, it's like... Like, he's being the supernatural villain that you want him to be. He's like the anti-hero here. He's like the total bad guy. Well, you want him to make it through everything. But he's winning. And he's yeah. killing everybody. And, you know, like, I'm sitting there going, like, you know what, you know, I want Tommy to kill him. Like, that's who I want to kill him. Well, but, you're then, seeing... but then, you know, Tommy became a little obsessed. Well, the, okay, so can we please talk about the elephant in the room of um, evil must die tonight? Was that the line that we heard, like, 50 times in the movie? Yeah. Evil must die evil tonight. Evil must die. But at the end of the day, the evil infected them. Yes. And there was actually, so what happened was, is in the hospital, there was uh, one of the people that was on the bus, one of the, one of the, Escape one of the patients that was on the bus from who, 2018. Who, who is? A, he's, he was literally crazy. He's he's crazy, yeah. but he's criminally insane. Yeah, he's not. You know, he's he's not an innocent bystander. He is a criminally insane guy. He doesn't he, deserve to die because he was just in trance. He, he just he just happens to be on that scurrying bus scurrying through and getting, yeah getting getting around and trying to make his way around. Yeah. and they people think people get to come up to the come to the conclusion that that's him because at the end of the day none of them knows what Michael they don't know what he looks, looks like because like, they've never seen him without his mask he's been there for 40 years so, so they, they don't know. decide that this guy is Michael Myers and even though somebody there is telling him he's not probably um, Jamie Lee Curtis they go after this guy and they get him to the point um, and I don't think they actually kill him he winds up no dying. he kills himself he kills himself he jumps out he jumps, he jumps out, out of the window out of, out of the window of the hospital yeah. and you, you almost sit there and you're like you know what you these feel bad guys for the guy. are almost in like uh, all the, the the crowd is like in a like a, a fever oh yeah like they're infected with the with with the almost like some sort of fever the, well, of, it's of the, madness and, and it's a combination of madness and fear of, of Michael Myers, and, and they want payback, and it's like they yeah. like they're, you know, and it's like and it's, it's, it's led almost, by Tommy. Yeah, like, to, yeah, Tommy. Tommy is the leader of all this, and he, and he gets everybody going. He he's revving people up throughout the hospital. All this whole this whole gang of people that are at the hospital trying to get answers, and he, Tommy gets them all going, saying, you know, you know, 
Michael Myers doesn't know what's coming for him. You know, like we're we're gonna we're gonna end him tonight. We're taking it, and he's telling the old sheriff. So the old sheriff is there, mm-hmm. and he's trying to calm Tommy down and calm everyone to calm, yeah. calm everyone down. He's like, nope. He's like, sheriff, this is it. It's like this is the end. And then he, I think he says something about the sheriff's daughter, and then the sheriff, then he starts to kind of like. All right, it starts to go along with it yeah. because he doesn't stay that way forever. He yeah. actually starts to say, you know what? He needs to be stopped. Like, you know, the law is not going to take care of him. We yeah. need to do it. Yeah. You know, and, and, and part of me was like, saw this movie going in a spot where like this whole mob mentality, they're going to get together and go after Michael Myers and track him down and kill him. And I was okay with that. And then all of a sudden, like, they become crazy. And yeah. they're they're seeing they're seeing Michael Myers behind every corner, and they're going bananas. And you're almost like, all right, now. But that's the that's the yeah, fear. Yeah, and now I I I I'm less sympathetic to their cause because they're so chaotic and unorganized. Yeah. You know they're they're, you know before they were like almost like it was almost like they were going to be like laser focused on a mission, vision. and now it's like well now they're just crazy, and they're now they're acting stupid. Right, and which is why and, this right. guy ends up dying. You know, yeah. and, this, and the only person who tried to help him was, was Judy Greer because yeah. Judy, uh, she, I can't remember her name in uh, in the movie. In the movie. No clue. But Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter realizes that that's not Michael Myers. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what she's telling anybody. Like, no one cares. No one's listening to her. They've all made up their mind yep. that this is the guy, that they're going to stop him. He's in the hospital. So she runs around and finds him and... She basically gets him into a corridor. She's trying to get him out of the building as quickly as possible. Mm-hmm. And it, it, eventually she runs into a snag and she can't get out. And they're basically the mob is on either side of this medical corridor. And there's nothing she can do. They're going to get through. They, they bust like they're, they're busting through. And they, right, bef- right as they do, the guy just realizes there's no way out of it for him. And he just... he. Jumps out the window, right. breaks the glass, jumps out this window. That's however many stories up. Boom! Right on the right on the concrete, and they show it. Yeah. Oh yeah. With, it's not like the aftermath of like he just land like it's like done off screen. Mm-hmm. No, like they show him hitting the ground. Well, the the, the funny thing is, to say you know, right? don't they show him hitting the ground? Yeah. Or they, they show him afterwards hitting the ground. No, I think they show him hitting the ground. Right. The, the funny thing is, if, if you know, if Judy Greer was able to like sneak him out of the hospital out of a back corridor somewhere, out the back door somewhere, and into an alleyway, oh, she would have been held as a traitor. No, she would have been killed because this guy's criminally insane. He probably would have killed her and raped her. Well, you know what? But he, <laughs> like, did, like, but he didn't there, do there it was, at the time. There but was the fact that he, no way. Like, the, the, she was she was doomed from the start. But <clears throat> what was interesting is that like she was able to speak to him. Like she knew how crazy he was. Right. But. She took that risk, and when she spoke to him originally, when she found him by herself, mm-hmm. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for him to go crazy on her. Yeah, because and it would have been like because he was scared. This is what yes, but because and, he saw what was coming with it. But if you know, all of a sudden, all that goes away, you know, then you know maybe he goes back to because you know you, you don't really know why he's he right. was put away, but you know it was probably having something to do with you know rape, pillaging, and murdering or something. It, it's or, it, or there's a rape. there's a reason why he was in a you know a mental facility yeah, yeah, for yeah. a period of time. Um, and then this, and then but once he, that once that happens, once that guy like ends up falling out and like dying, like the, the crowd starts to disperse a little bit with with a little bit. Right, like, Tommy still got a hold of a few people. Right, but then right then they start to go out and like and and right then and there you can see the disaster because they're like okay one yeah. car is going this way yeah. one car is going this way one you know if they're all marching down the street with bats and pitchforks and torches you got to find it you know you got to find it somehow we but now find they're it. all in cars going this way that way the other way um, one group one car uh, runs into a bunch of kids in a playground which is actually kind of funny because right. it looks like all these you know a bunch of kids you know they're not they're not like rowdy punk teenagers they're more like tweens Yes. You know, they're, they're, young, they're, they're young, really young teens. They're probably like 12, 13. They're you like 13, know, 14 12, 13, smart-ass kids, out later than they should be, I'm sure. Right. And, and you they're know, all like yelling, like, don't you know what's going on? Yeah, like, well, you kids get home. Yeah, know, and, the kid, and the kids are basically like, yeah, screw you. Yeah, <laughs> know, you, know, whatever. you know, they're just hanging out playing. They're on the swings, you know, like doing whatever they're doing. They're in the playground. They don't care. You know, and it's funny. 
And then, but then um, that group actually runs into Michael Myers, and Michael Myers um, kills kills the, the nurse, kills the nurse, and then also kills that couple that, that was with them. It was like a doctor. Oh, that's right, that's right. That they were in the car. They were the next door neighbors to Judy Greer's house in the 2018 movie. Okay, they were the ones that were leaving to go to the party or something like that. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, they get brutally killed. Yep. And, um... Now, Kylie person, Richards, so Lindsay... The person who survives that is the is, kids is Lin- and Lindsay. Yeah. And Lindsay. Somehow the kids get away. Yeah. Unscathed, which was good. Which... And Lindsay gets away, and, and Lindsay, like, basically survives. Um, but Tommy eventually finds them. Well, I think Tommy and his group eventually find them right but they find but they are all but michael myers of course has now set up this fun um, you know fun uh like death scene that's all set up for them on the playground with all the adults yes yes and they all have halloween masks on and yes. one of the one of the uh, Easter, the Easter eggs in this, this film is that these masks are supposed to be similar to the masks from, from Season Halloween of the Witch. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Which is like the, the red-headed stepchild of the Halloween series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure that like there's a little homage to Season of the Witch with this. And I'm okay with that because Absolutely. Um, I think that's awesome. Because I'm actually, as bad of a movie as Halloween 3, Season of the Witch is, I actually kind of liked it. Like, I enjoyed it. Because I, I like the concept, even though Michael Myers is in her role, the whole concept of what they were doing I thought was kind of kind of sick, and and it, and it worked. It was scary, yeah. You know, and, and it actually ended, you know, very scarily. Um, the end of that movie is actually, you know, just, it's disturbing. Yes, and that's why I think that this was a really great way to kind of like bring bring that, that w- bring in that one a in, little bit. you know, almost to like you know give it a little bit of recognition yeah. because that um, I know that movie was very poorly received when it came out, but it was very well anticipated. Mm. But it just, you know, wasn't that good. If it was a movie that was, was standalone on its own and had nothing to do with the Halloween series, it may have done better because I think people's expectations were yeah. probably waiting for Michael Myers, you know, seeing that there's a third mm-hmm. film in the franchise. And, and I do remember at one point um, when people started get when people really started dying and, and you sit there and you almost say, wow, this movie is really like the... The the po- not to say the point of this movie, but but one of the standpoints of this movie is Michael Myers is is gonna kick ass, like he like he's just literally he's oh, he's he wastes through he just he's just, just wading through people. People are just dying yeah. left and right. And I remember at one point going to Chris, I'm like I'm like I go not for nothing. If if Michael Myers kills Tommy. You know the little kid from you know from the first movie. I'm like, that's that's messed up. I'm like, that's messed up. You know, yeah, I, I like I, I my my uh, my favorite scene with Tommy, the well, not my favorite, but the the scene I always remember from Tom about Tommy in the first Halloween movie is is when you almost first kind of meet him. You know, he's he's at school and he's holding the pumpkin, oh, and, the three, yeah. and the three kids are picking on him and yelling at him. He's like, "Leave me alone! Leave me alone!" And they're like, "Don't you know what Halloween is?" He's like, "Yeah, we trick or treat and we get candy." And they're like, "No!" <laughs> you know, he's just like, you know, like he's like, you know, he's a good kid. He's a, but you know, he's you know, he's a little bit of you know, he's a little bit of you know, mush. But but he's not a bad kid. And it's like you know, like you know, Tommy and Lindsay. Not being killed in right. that first movie, in the first movie, right? Like if any one of those kids would have been killed, that would have been. I think that would have been too much. Because for the nineteen seventy eight, for nineteen because yeah, because yeah. the, the 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 original Halloween is one of the scariest movies ever made. But I think if it would have if if it would have if any one of those kids would have been killed, I think. This, the, I don't, I, I don't, I think maybe people would have rebelled. Like it would have been Possibly. too much. It would have been like, no, no, that's that's just sick, you know. So in my head, like you know, Lindsay and Tommy are almost untouchable, you know. So now, well, now it's fair game. So now you sit there and say, wow, okay, wow, okay, Lindsay got away. I'm like that. I'm glad. Right, so I'm glad safe. Lindsay got away. Yeah. You know. And now you you almost feel like it's gonna come down to a showdown between Tommy 
and Michael Myers. And I'm like, I'm okay with Tommy winning. But in your head, you're like, well, there's a third movie, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. <laughs> but before we even get to before we get to the showdown, they have we get to the Myers house. Yeah. So so Michael makes his way back to his old home. Oh, and somebody's there's there's, and there's a couple that that's living there. Yeah, there's a gay couple that's living there. That's living there. That have turned like have the whole house into fixed like it up. you know really you know it's really nice you know flamboyant and lots of uh, I mean. Art, dec- it's an, art, it's an, de- art direction, set decoration, yeah. like all over the place. All over the place. You know, like it's uh, the house is gorgeous, like beautifully restored. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Restored home. And these guys, they get, <laughs> they get destroyed. Oh, and then of course we get the prop killing again. Where like once he kills them, he like sets it up, sets them up afterwards. Yeah. But the uh, the granddaughter, so Jamie Lee Curtis's granddaughter, finds out that like. Michael's still alive, and she's like, "I'm, I'm going after this." Well, I, I think she right? did find out first and was keeping it from Jamie Lee Curtis. She did not tell her on purpose. Yeah, Jamie Lee Curtis eventually found out, but she was like one of the yeah. last people to know. But like, so she gets she gets together with the old boyfriend from the 2018 film when they, you know, they they broke up at the dance and everything like that. But oh, he yeah. comes back in because oh, his yeah. dad was one of the kids. Yes. That Michael Myers passes yes. when he's trick or treating, and he like craps himself, and basically like, uh, he's one of the kids that actually gets teased in the flashback. He's mm-hmm. one of the flashback scenes, and um, so like you know he was there that night in Haddonfield, and so like him and his son, and now the 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 granddaughter and the granddaughter they all yeah they're, they're they all they go they're right a team to, you know it's but like they it's know like, it's like the super friends but they know, you know to go like, for some reason they know to go to the myers house they know where to go you know so they, they they make their way to the myers house and once they get there the two you know the two gay guys that were living in the house at this point they're already dead but they died in spectacular fashion yeah and the other guy who goes in the first the father, the goes father goes in first in, and he you hear them. you hear a gunshot yeah. The two kids are sitting in the car and he's like, don't come in no matter what. Right. And of course, you hear the gunshot a few, like a minute later and they're like, well, we got to go see what happened. Right. You know, and so the and two of them go And he's in, dead. And they don't see him yet. And then uh, eventually what ends up happening, they make their way upstairs, of course, because that's where all the action is. So once they get upstairs, the, the, the father was up in like the, uh, like the attic pull down yeah 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 so yeah once again setting the stage you know he's like he gets in there and then all of a sudden michael appears and it's uh and then he goes after the boyfriend yeah actually no doesn't he go after the wait doesn't he find the girl i think i think he finds the girl first but then the boyfriend intercedes yeah yeah, yeah. and he gets she gets she gets away but he gets destroyed he He literally gets like his head he gets the crap beat out of him he gets brutally beat up yeah he, he gets his and, head through the the newel posts the, the, yeah. the spindles and he basically gets like, and as he's coming down the stairs yeah he just, michael just just cracks his, he, just breaks you know it's just i mean this movie really was like a michael murder fest it's like at the I end mean, of I the guess, day well, halloween kills with, with all the best intentions of or bad, whatever anybody wants to do michael myers is just like this force that is just wiping them all out. I mean, if you're looking at the title, I mean, if it's if, if Michael Myers is it's the like representation of Halloween, like he kills, like he he goes through this movie and just kills anybody he interacts with. So the so now he he starts going after the girl, the granddaughter, and as he's almost ready to kill her, Judy Greer shows up, and kind of like gets. I don't, I don't want to say, do I want to say it gets the upper hand on him? She stabs him in the back. Yeah, she's but she's acting as a decoy. She does. She basically lures him out. Lures she him. calls him out. She calls him by yeah. name and tells him to come after me. Yeah. And as he, she runs out into the street. She runs down the block. I don't know. They like, get him where, like he's like a block away. Yeah. Like somehow, like she gets, she gets, she lures him away from the house. He shows up, and then all of a sudden, all the Everybody cars is comes. There. The mob, the mob is right. there. And this is what they should have done in the first place. As and you're to... like, okay, here we go. It's literally Michael Myers, and he's surrounded by at least a dozen people with bats. Everybody's got weapons. Someone yep. even has a gun. Someone even has a revolver, mm-hmm. pipes, and all pipes. Sorts of stuff. All this, all these hand hand to hand weapons. And you're like, how the heck 
is, is he, he getting out of this? And basically, they just get him down to the ground. They just start beating so they, him. Yeah, they beat the crap out of him. And he's down on the ground. Yep. And then, and then he, they're about to shoot him in the head. And then he does something to someone's. He grabs their leg or their foot or something like yeah, that. Yeah, basically they're they're lulled into a false sense of security. Yes, because they figured, oh, we well, got you know we beat we the crap him. out of him. He's unconscious. Yeah. He's not going to do anything. And then he manages to get up. He gets the upper hand. And he once just he gets starts, once he gets rid of the guy with the gun, like everything everything after that was like cake for him. He basically starts taking out everybody in that street. Like, no one ganged up on him at once. It was just, like, one person yeah. at a time. I'm going to go. Now you go. Now you go. And that's and that's and that was his winning strategy. Yeah, and then he he kills Tommy. Him and Tommy in have... street. Him and Tommy have a moment, and you think, this is it. Yeah. Right? Like, is he going to take him down? And I, I'm trying to remember, because we saw this, again, back... We saw this back month in ago, October. You know? And I'm, I'm trying to remember if he even had the upper hand at any point. And I don't know if he did. Or if he did, I'm thinking Michael made him think that he had the upper hand. If he did, it wasn't then, for long. Right. And then Michael just... It wasn't just, for long at all. Michael just kills him. So he kills Tommy. And it's just like... And I'm just like, wow. Yeah. That's... One of the, up. One of like, the originals. Like, oh, kills you Tommy. Know, one kills of the, one Tommy. of the originals and just not, kills him out. And then there's a scenario that doesn't... It's a little hard to believe because there's still a, a lot of people at the Ma by by the Myers house. Yeah, like and, authorities have like and, shown up. I think at this point. And Judy Greer is. She's walking through the house upstairs makes, on the second floor. Makes her way upstairs because doesn't she hear the story from the cop? She hears the story from the sheriff yeah. about what happened to him and how he wasn't a hero mm -hmm. because he ended up he shot his partner. Mm -hmm. And she said the reason why she says. He, when he went up there, he was staring out the window thinking, is this what Michael did, staring out this window? And he's like, I wonder what this was like. Was he staring at his own reflection, looking at himself? Like, he has this whole speech with her. Right. So she makes her way up to the room. Mm -hmm. And she stands in front of that window, and she starts looking out. And while she does that, Michael Myers comes up from behind. Left right behind her. And... and and it seems like he kills her. I think he, I think she's dead. Like, you're you're under the impression that she's dead. Yeah. Now a couple things. One, obviously, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna say, okay, it's his house. He knows how to get in through a back door or something right. like that. He remembers how, and that's how he snuck by everybody. But the but thing when is, we tell you that like there are people surrounding the front of that house. Yeah. There's no way he's getting in that. And way. I think the the thing that made didn't make sense to me is that here's the house. Maya's house, and here's the front of the house, and they lure him this way. So this is where the battle is. How does he get all the way around? He circles back. He's, but like, like he's got to circle really far around. But you got to remember, a lot. It would have made more sense if the battle was back here and everybody was in front of the house, and then it's not. You know, it's. Yeah. It, you know, it was a little. It's a little bit more believable. I think. It, to it's me, still it's a little just, unbelievable that he was is. able to kill everybody there and nobody here knows what's going on and he's able to to totally get around. around everybody and get into the house. Nobody knows he's nobody knows he's he's still alive here. But how does he get He upstairs? got past everybody. But he gets upstairs. And he gets into the house and upstairs right. and nobody sees him. Uh, the, to me, no listen, there are a lot of houses that have two staircases. Um, this house, I don't know. I, I, you never see a second staircase, so I'm not really sure. Yeah, no, how I think the there's only one. So how does he get? Not only like you said, in th okay, you get in through the house or the back door. Maybe no one's really watching it. That I can understand. Yeah. But that staircase is right in the front of the house where yeah. people are. Yeah. So how the heck do you make your way up? That's one of those, you know, convenient uh, scenarios that occur. Which okay, he makes his way up the staircase. That to me was the one. To me, that was the one big convenience of the film. I was like, yeah, because yeah, it almost like you almost can't believe he's there because, you know, I mean, it's supposed to be a shock that he's there. And I get that. But the shocking part is how the hell could he have possibly gotten there? And you just sit there and you go, wait, no, no, no. He never he never would have been able to get, get around all get, those people, get around, get, get there. He's having nothing. You know, if Michael Myers goes two houses down and crosses the street 
People you know, are going to see him. People are going to see him. Like, there's lights. There's, you know, there's lights. There's we, flashing cop car. Like, like he's not going to screw away. Like, they're going to be like, that is him. He would, it, 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 it does... It, that's definitely one of the more frustrating parts of this film. Yeah, that was that was the that to me was the one annoying convenience. But like I said, if you do it once, I'll give you a pass. And I think they really only did it once. You know, the, at the end of the day, I I I definitely enjoyed this movie more than the two one from two thousand eighteen mm-hmm. by by a long shot. I actually enjoyed it because it was almost like it was a a gratuitous embrace of of the evil of Michael Myers. It was just him cutting loose. Yeah, you know, and it was like, but and it was so much, and 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 against these people from his past. Yeah. So it it, it actually had a co- a, it was just, a, a cohesiveness. It was really and, and gruesome. Point to the violence. Like a lot of the deaths were yeah. like really, really gruesome. Deaths. Whereas more like in the 2018, when I just felt that the the a lot of the violence was really gratuitous and uneventful and, and and didn't have too much art to it this, this movie this movie had more structure to it a little bit more art to it um but yeah no it was I, I still even think the first one in 2018 the violence was much more gratuitous in your face like you know like like, when he, like you know when he when he stabbed the knife through that person's neck oh yeah you yeah. know like like this one was like this this movie was meant as a celebration you know, a perverse celebration of of, you can of, almost of see that. Michael Myers' evil. Like if we're doing a, if we're doing a trilogy, this yeah. is the Empire Strikes Back yeah. of the Hall- of the Halloween series. Mm-hmm. You know, where like he wins, and it's just no matter what you plan- try to do to take him down, he's going to win. Yeah, and that's because that like, yeah, scene he where wins. he's he this that, movie he wins that scene, every battle. That scene where he's surrounded by all those people as like that scene's like coming up, and we're watching that on screen. I'm like, how is he going to get out of this? Like he sh- if he's Getting taken out. If there are twelve people, and I'm and I'm guessing that there was twelve. It could have been more, maybe and slightly it's all, less. And it's all, all people all with big guys. All big guys that have weapons that are looking to really take this guy down. Yeah, there, there's not one person like, going. We, you know, there's nobody there saying, you know, we need to all calm down. No, no, they're, no, no, no. They're, they're all out to kill him. They're all out to get him. And it's you're at this point where like, okay, I would have thought this would have been a scene for the next film, like. This to me would have been the final end because yeah. in all of the Halloween films that we've had, I can't recall a scene where Michael Myers was confronted by, by numerous crime. people like this that were all looking to take him down. Right. It's usually very one on one, maybe two people, but he always seems right. to have And even hand. with the fire department, they weren't there to take him down. They were no. like, What the hell is going on? Too. Who the hell is this guy? Right. You no, know, these guys are there for a fight. So make so it actually makes you wonder. What's in store? For well, Halloween you know, ends. I mean, the, this movie Halloween Kills ends with him appearing to kill Judy Greer. You know, he's killing. Yeah, he's I'll killing be honest Jimmy, with you. Jimmy Lee Curtis's daughter. What's, so, I don't remember the exact end of the film. Like where that was the end. end. Oh, that was an end. With the her end dying. was her dying, and then he's basically at the window. And that's how it ends. And that's the end. Okay. So now all of a sudden you're like... Because I remember that and I couldn't remember anything after that, where, but that's why. Because where are we going ended. from here? And, and to me, you got, okay, obviously there's, we all know what's going to be the showdown between Laurie Strode and Michael Myers, okay? How it began is how it's going to end. We all know that that's coming. Oh, well, we... we, we She's going to have recovered. But yeah. can we just say this as well? Yeah, I know exactly what you think because I was about to bring it up. This, this is the longest Halloween yeah, night ever. ever. Because like, it's not, it, to me... We are led to believe that it's not even November first yet. We're, it's not even. It, we haven't even hit midnight yet, okay. And if you look at the way that the the 2018 film, if we're going through like the timeline, okay, the 2018 film probably ends, and we're being very generous with this. Probably like at ten, right? At, at earliest. And I'm saying, and I'm, say, I'm saying, later. and I'm saying, like that's being generous. Yeah. That the time of that is probably around ten o'clock. The real time that this movie's occurring in Halloween Kills, there's no way that this doesn't go blow past two hours. Yeah, no, it's it. There's there's a, a not that everything has to occur. On, listen, you have a movie titled Halloween. Everything should happen on Halloween. However, Halloween Two in 1980, when that came out, did take place partially on November 1st because yeah. it was after midnight. Yeah, and it was basically the aftermath of Halloween. Yeah, um, but this is all, but this film, it all still seems to be taking place. Before midnight on Halloween, you night. know both of these both movies take 
t are taking place in 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 a twenty four hour time period. Right. You know, uh, from a certain it's not, point, you're not, you're in, not even bouncing a, back and forth. From a certain point in in the first ho in the Halloween two thousand eighteen, like at some point, wherever it starts, like that's Halloween October thirty first. Right. Like most of the movie from that point on is still the same day, and now you get to this movie, and it's the continuation from there, and it's like, you know, not for nothing with everything that happened. You know, you're hitting, you're hitting, you know, sunrise pretty soon, and you're not in this movie. You're not. Everything is still, you know, we're nighttime. still. I'll say this: we are. It's like two, we, maybe two o'clock in the do morning. Do we know and this? It should be so much later. Do we know it for sure? No, because you're not really seeing a clock anywhere or time. But yeah. everyone is still acting as if it's still Halloween night. Before, yeah, no, it is. It, 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 it is. It is. The sun has not risen yet. Right. From from the end from the end of the 2018 to the end of this movie, it's still the sun has not. Like if, yet. if I had one nitpick for this film, that it, it would be that it would just be that we're still supposed to be yeah. believing. And that that's uh, and that's a common and that's a common thing with film is is they really, you know, well it's t it's it's hard because it's t like you only have nothing so much really time happens. In a day. Nothing really nothing happens in real time. It, right. It's like you know you, you can just sit there and say okay you know. Well, that should have taken two hours instead of two minutes. Like, to, in my eyes, the, the time frame of this movie, probably everything occurs within, I would say, four hours. Yeah. You know, if it was real time from beginning to end, him getting away and him killing the, the daughter at the end of upstairs, I would say everything probably occurs within four hours. You know, it's like you, you get these things, movies, where, like, you know, someone's going to get married today, and they, someone goes, you know, let's go see the Statue of Liberty first. And they go see the Statue of Liberty, and then they come back and they make the wedding. No. If you actually wanted to, wherever you are... It's going to take all day. To get to the Statue of Liberty and back is all day. Unless you live in the city. It's, like, it's unless you have your own helicopter that can pick you up where you are right then and drop you on Liberty Island and you can take a look and go back. Like, like... Like thing, like things take time, mm. you know, and and it's it, it wouldn't be as bad as if like it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't so crazy the the time shifts, you know, right. something that should take ten hours is not going to take a half hour, you know, and you sit and say like, well, they wouldn't have been able to do that. There wouldn't be enough time for that. Yeah, no, but you know. and it, listen, it's a stupid thing, but like I, I know that I noticed it, and when I walked out of the movie theater, I looked at John, and I'm like, oh, is it still Halloween night? And yeah. like we had a big conversation about yeah. like how much time has gone. No, but by. this is going to be the funny part. How what's going to happen in Halloween Kills? It's going to it's going to Halloween ends. It's going to Hall start. Halloween ends. It's going to start right right there. at the beginning. And are we going to is it going to are we going to hit the sunrise before the movie's over? And I don't think we are. I think it's all going to happen. I think I think it's all going to end before before sunrise. Before sunrise, and it's just like all right, you got three three movies that all took place in one in in like, essentially in, in one night, maybe a twelve hour in twelve yeah. hour period. Um, Less there, than that, you know. It, it, like I said, I know. It's, wait a I know it's stupid. It, didn't the <clears throat> the first movie in in the two thousand eighteen one? It doesn't start on Halloween. Yeah, no, because the bus the bus broke down in the afternoon. It was the, didn't it break down at night? But then you see Michael Myers the next day. Yeah, so it take, I think it like it starts, starts off from, like the, the interview, like when the, when those people go to the institution. Yeah, that was during the day. I think that was either that might have been October thirtieth. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was during the day, and then later that night is when he escaped, and then the next day is Halloween. Is Halloween, and yeah. that's when he kills them in, in the gas in the gas station, and it's leading into that night. Yeah. But at least that was a time frame that made sense. Yes, having this whole second movie basically take place, like in, squeezing it into in like, three hours. Yeah, and because the movie doesn't play in real time, like there are certain movies where it's like you know everything's happening in the same room and it's continuous. And say, okay, yeah, but but a lot of things are happening in this film. She had surgery. Yeah, like oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, well, she had yeah, surgery. Right. You know, what is, how long does surgery take in the <laughs> movies? Seven minutes. In real life, <laughs> the, the surgery alone uh, a long was, time. That surgery alone was probably at least an hour. Yeah, and not, she's recuperating. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, like, like I said, I, I love I love the movies. I do, and like it's just that type of thing where like you, I yeah. know it's supposed to be like you're a little bit of suspend, suspension of disbelief. Suspend I get disbelief. It. I know, but it's like okay, you know, it, maybe that's us being a little nitpicky. But like in the day, it um, 
it didn't completely detract from our experience. No, we're, no, it's get, just something that like, I picked up throughout the you're film. Getting, but... You're getting a couple of demerits off, but it's not like it's not ruining the film. No, it just it, makes it to say, okay, that's a little much. That's, just, a, that's a little bit of a stretch, but it, okay. It didn't, keep going. it didn't ruin anything for me. It, it's just, again, just something that I noticed that I found silly. But yeah. uh, I am interested to see how the whole thing ends. Which, and the movie is coming out next year, 2022. Yeah. Thank goodness, because if I had to wait till 2023, <laughs> I would have been... Well, at the end of the day, it should have. It was going to be two years later. Like, it was originally going to be no, released it was in all... 2020, and then the other one in 2022. Right, so everything was two years apart. You know, yeah. 2018, 2020, 2022. So we got this one a year late. So, right. We're still going to get the third one on time. That one's going to be on time, so which is good. So it'll be, and it'll be in next October, which is good. You know, one of the things um, we, did, we didn't really get a chance to do this year was kind of like our, our, our yeah. horror festival type of thing. I know that Chris was watching a lot of movies, but they were on it, on his own. And so so we'll, we'll have to do that again. Next. Yeah. We'll still, do that again next year. Still keep it up. I highly, definitely some horror movies that we wanted to watch together and discuss. Listen, I highly recommend it. There's certain times of the year where I get a little more nostalgic and um, I'll watch those types of films like throughout that time period. Like obviously... You know, December's coming up. A lot of Christmas films are all in your face all over. Yeah. But there's always favorite ones that you end up having, and, and those I'll try to watch before Christmas comes. Same thing in October. I, I try to watch a, a bunch of different horror movies that I can. Uh, and I usually watch the original Halloween on Halloween night. Typically, if I can fit it in, I will. Mm -hmm. um, if it's not already playing on TV. Yeah. But I, I am looking forward to the next one. I want to see how it goes. Yeah, no, I am too. I um, just, I just want to, The one thing that they've done in, with this... These two films that they that was different from the original franchises. Once Michael Myers came back in Halloween Four, he became much more supernatural. Okay, and we're like in, in this, they haven't mentioned that. Like they haven't, you know, he's just a guy that's maybe a little bit more well built than the rest of us. Yeah, no, but he, I think he is some sort of evil force. Uh, yeah, I don't think the expectation is that he's. He's human, but I think he's, he's, he's a I think human. I think he's a human vessel driven by some sort of supernatural evil. But that's what it was in the the originals. Like he became like this, this evil, unstoppable force. Yeah, he's he he's unexplainable, because I think um, well, that was the whole thing with Loomis. Loomis kept you know, saying like, that. Like he's being he is being shot multiple times, and he's just going to keep going. And he he was shot. Yeah. That's right. He was shot a couple of times, and that, and then he gets up. He was standing in the back when Ju Judy Greer comes in and just pff, hits him, hits him with the knife, but before he kills the the daughter, yeah, the no, granddaughter. I, 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 I don't, I don't know that they talk about it as much, or they play it up as much. He's definitely presented as as more than human. Mm. He's not just a guy who can take a beating. He's definitely there's something going on. It's, you know, I am, it's, it's, and that is, you know, that is one of the essences of horror film. I want to know what's going to end up happening. And it's like, you know, how is how is the final confrontation going to come down between him and Laurie Strode? You know, are they going to fight in the Myers house? Is the Myers house going to be destroyed? Because I feel like we haven't, like, that's never happened. Like, the Myers house is always still standing at the end. It's like, well, yeah. if you destroy the Myers house, maybe that's something that's completely different. Like, that yeah. will change things. So, yeah, like, you know, like, there's a uh, lot of different possibilities like at the end of, Like, at the end of the original carry, when the, the house just kind of collapses. Collapses like, in, collapses right? Collapses on itself. You know, there's something going on. Like, there. I would just wonder if something like that is, is going to occur. But um, regardless of say, I'll be looking forward to it. I'll be honest with you. I'm looking much more forward to Halloween ends, ends now than when I was when I saw the first 2018. Because okay. after, I was, after I saw the 2018, I'm like, oh, we got two more movies. I got to sit through two more of these. <laughs> and then this one to me was a surprise. And I liked it. And I'm now, I, now I am looking forward to the third go. one because now, because now I don't know what to expect. There we go. And I, so I, I'm looking forward to that next year. All right. All right. So, hey, that's episode four nine in the books. Next episode. Milestone, Milestone episode episode fifty. 50. And who we, knows we what we'll, who knows what we'll be reviewing. That's right. We're down to three choices until well, Ghostbusters Afterlife. Unless then we do, we'll unless back we, to, then we'll be back to four. Unless we get in, unless we get another round in this week. Yep. But uh, guys, cheers to everyone. Thank you so much for watching cheers. and listening. Enjoy the movies. Get back to the movies if you can. Yep. Support your local movie chains. Yep. And we hope to talk to you guys again soon. See you at the movies. See you at the movies.